so pay attention and uh, let's do it with the same concept so this is three parts of pure milk and one part of water how much of the mixture must be withdrawn and water substituted in order that the resulting mixture may be half milk and half water now here there's a small trick so three parts of pure milk and one part of water is a mixture of three by four strength with respect of milk but here what we are doing is we are substituting it with water so now you may uh, think that we are not mixing anything but actually we are mixing water to it and water is a mixture of zero strength so what we can do is do the uh, apply the same tri trick but we this time use the second mixture as a zero percent mixture so let's write it down as a and b and uh, write down ratio write down quantity write down strength and let's say strength is 3 by 4 and this is 0 the quantity is this is 1 cup so this is 1 cup 1 cup but how much of the mixture must be withdrawn so now let's say you withdraw 1 minus x so this is your new quantity 1 minus x and this is the amount of water x which is replaced so when x goes into this it gives you one cup back again so i'll re erase this because this will be confusing okay now so this goes back x goes back and it gives you one cup again so now let's do the same trick again so we are mixing a 3 by 4 strength of milk with a 0% strength of milk which is basically water and this is giving me a half milk and half water so half milk and half water is 1 by half strength so 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 is equals equals 1 by 4 and half minus 0 gives me half so the ratio is half is to 1 by 4 which can also be written as 4 is to 2 which can also be written as 2 is to 1 so the ratio becomes 2 is to 1 so you now x is uh, 1 here um, okay so we screwed up mm, okay 1 minus x by x is equals to 2 so 1 minus x is equals to 2x so 1 is equals to 3x so x is equals to 1 by 3 so x becomes 1 by 3 and this becomes 2 by 3 so this is not really required so what is required is 1 by 3 so what you do is you take 1 by 3 out of 1 so the answer would be 1 by 3 so we didn't really screw up so that was fine so 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 you saw that you can simply solve this problem by using the same technique this was a fairly simple problem and you could have done it uh, without even uh, applying this method but this was just to demonstrate the technique so let's now move on to the next question this one is again a fairly uh, common problem on the GMAT because it's because it's it talks about diluted sulfuric acid and acid is again a mixture uh, so basically if you know any uh, you know anything about chemistry you would know that it's basically concentrated sulfuric acid with water and that's the mixture which gives you a diluted sulfuric acid now let's say uh, so the question says two bottles A and B we should start writing A and B here because that's our technique contain diluted sulfuric acid in the bottle a the amount of water is double the amount of acid so this is uh, okay so now if we write ratio quantity and strength so strength is amount of water is double the amount of acid so if acid is 1 water is 2 so the strength would be 1 by 1 plus 2 that is 1 by 3 for the second bottle the amount of acid is three times that of water so acid is three and water is one so total is one plus three that is four so this these are the strength. how much should be taken from each bottle in order to prepare five liters of mixture containing equals amount of acid in water so the resultant is again one by two uh, and prepare five liters of the mixture 
okay so here the quantity should be a plus b should give you 5 so that is the quantity so now let's do this technique because we know the quantities of uh, the ratio of the quantities will be equal to the ratio of what we get here so half minus 1 by 3 very quickly it will be 1 by 6 and 3 by 4 minus half would be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is to 1 by 6 is equals to 6 is to 4 is equals to 3 is to 2 so the ratios would be 3 is to 2 so the ratios would be 3 is to 2 so 3x and 2x will give you 5 so x is basically 1 here so so uh, uh, just by coincidence it comes out to be 3 is to 2 so this is 3 liters and 2 liters or gallons or whatever it is so 3 liters and 2 liters if let's say this was uh, if, if it was asked that in order to prepare 10 liters then you would say 3x plus 2x is equals to 10 and then x would come out to be 2 and then these quantities would be 6 and 4 okay Which, um, in this case it was 5 liters so we straight away got 3 plus 2 5 okay so so basically what we are trying to do here is trying to apply the same technique in all these mixture problems we are doing the same thing so we are writing strength ratio quantity strength we are doing this we are doing this technique and then we are getting the ratio and we are rate writing the ratios here so the quantities are in that same ratio so okay now again let's do uh, something like that so two vessels contain milk and water respectively in in threes to one and five so let's write it down very quickly this time i'll just uh, try to do it very quickly and you can see how you can avoid writing all those things and still do the same thing so i'll write threes to one so i'll straight away write three by four and fives to three would be five by eight find the ratio in which these two are mixed to get a new mixture in which the ratio is two is to one so two is to one would be two by three because two upon two plus one so two by three minus three by four so three by four minus two by three would be twelve nine eight one by twelve and this would be two by three minus five by eight this would be twenty four 16 minus 15 1 by 24 ratio would be 1 by 24 is to 1 by 12 will be 12 is to 24 will be 1 is to 2 so the ratio will be 1 is to 2 so find the ratio so ratio 1 is to 2 so you see we did the same thing but we didn't write uh, strength ratio quantity whatever because we we were just writing that so to get the technique but as you get the technique you won't it won't be necessary to write all that and you can straight away do this and this will actually save you a lot of time on the GMAT